Assalamu alaikum. Hello guys. Today in this tutorial, I am going to demonstrate a design of a star plot. Okay. So before getting into the uh, main task, I would like to perform some preliminary construction. Okay. So let us start. Uh, the limitation in the ERP is the distance if you see let's say this is the distance this is the height from from this point this is the height from this point to this point okay let's say this is the, the horizontal distance of the west club is a if by age, this ratio okay greater than 0 point 35 then we have what it have does is we have assigned to the worst club wall section property wall section property okay but if v by h ratio is less than or equal to 0 point 35 then we have assigned mathematically slab section for two slab section property. That is split property. Okay. Slab section property. Uh, this is a limitation. Okay. Because if we have assigned a one section property to the inclined slab, okay, inclined then you cannot design it as a as a concrete uh, slab. Okay, then you have to perform the design using wall uh, using shear wall. Okay, the at the shear wall. Okay. So also before going into the design, I shall. I would like to introduce you the local section. Okay. You see to show the local section go to I click on this button, then go to object assignment and then uh, under shell assignment click the local expression. Okay. okay. You see red Red color means one direction, local one direction. Cyan color means local two direction. Blue color means local three direction. You see, for landing slab, the local one direction is parallel to the red color. But for west slab, the local one direction is perpendicular to the uh, west slab's, uh, uh, landing slab's uh, local one direction. Okay, that is, uh, you see, for local direction, for west slab, the local one direction is parallel to the red color. Okay, the local two direction is parallel to the cyan color. You must recognize this axis property. Okay, local axis property for these two types of uh, slab. That is for landing as well as west slab. Now, what you have to do is, you have to select this slab and assign loads to the assign shell loads uniform select live and assign 100 psf for uh, 100 psf and select state select and get to the selection selection to the selection and select state and assign to the selection ok Actually, I am doing this uh, only for demonstration purpose. Uh, in actual practice, the date load may vary. Okay, so I select all these slabs and go to assign, tell, load auto mesh, and select mesh of the slab. Okay, okay done. Now, 
let us go to the design Project class and make sure that minimum cover personal is given in 5 MP. Okay, look at the size uh, number 5. Okay, and <coughs> then go to design, the particular design. Click run around. Now the analysis is done. Uh, before here you are seeing a picture. Uh, the this is a detailing of landing class, start class, uh, post class. Okay. Now let us see the. You see, for landing, the local one direction is in this direction, parallel to the red color. Okay. And local two direction is parallel to the cyan color. Okay. Uh, so, in this picture, you see this reinforcement. This reinforcement and this reinforcement. This is top bar, top, and this is bottom. Okay. And this is local world, local one direction reinforcement. Direction V1. Okay. And the uh, and and this distribution bar you see this is local two direction local two direction reinforcement okay and for west club it is opposite to the for the land uh, to the landing club you see this is these are this reinforcement Local one direction reinforcement. And this reinforcement, okay. This reinforcement are local two direction reinforcement. Local one direction is this, and local two direction is uh, parallel to this here. Okay. So this is local two. Okay. Now that you have, uh, now that you have uh, been familiar with the uh, axis property of landing clubs as well as for for the most clubs now let us go to the design go to design concrete club start design okay the design is done now go to design concrete club uh, display flexural design You don't have to worry about the competition. Okay, for slabs, you can statistically generate the load combination. That is 1.6 d plus 1 1.l. Uh, uh, that is 1.4 d plus 1.6 l. Okay, and 1.4 d. These two combinations are used generally. You are generally used for load combination for the slab. Okay, close. Slab. Go to design, concrete club, display, place and design. You can also check the mode combination in your mode combination. You see, automatically generated, you can also see, you see, 1 to 1.4D, uh, that is 1.2D plus 1.6M. Okay. 
now would like to design the in the direction one stop reverse okay stop reverse now under two reverse above it space right here uh, click typical uh, uniform inputting this right here uh, under typical uniform inputting it is defined by bar size and bar space okay and design basis finite element based we have to make some uh, we have to perform several iteration okay to be able to design the uh, class <clears throat> we shall perform the iteration until uh, all the move bending movement become zero. Okay, it will turn blue color when the reinforcing is done when the reinforcement is enough for the bending. Now, uh, now we would like to perform. The design in position one for top lever. Okay, I select top lever that is number five. Now let us say that the spacing is ten inch. Let's press apply. Uh, okay, you see the movement is not has not become zero here. Uh, reduce the spacing. Let's say seven inch. Direction one, you should uh, provide top fever number five at the rate of five point five. Okay, at number five at the rate of five point five. Now let us design in the direction one bottom fever. Okay, select the bottom fever size. Let's say the size number three. Let's say five inch. Let's apply. See five point five inch is enough. This is the value. So provide bottom rebar in the local one direction for uh, landing plus with slab number three at the rate of 7.5 inches CC. Direction two. Direction two would like to design top rebar. Select the size, top rebar size. Okay. Apply. This is 5.5 inches and up. Inches. We are doing 6 inches. It is also enough. Seven. It is also enough. Let us. This is the very number four. Five inch. Easy. Number four. Number three. Okay. So number three. We have to provide four point five inch. Four inch. Provide number for a set of five letters. Okay, So provide number four at the rate of five point five inches under the center in the direction two as top number. Let us design the direction two bottom number. Let the size let's say number three apply number five inch. This is the value five inch. Okay, this is the value 5.5. Okay, 
Okay, so five inches the required measurement. So provide number three bar under the five inches under the center that is shown to as for the bar. Okay, that's how. That's how you can design the reinforcement for the square glass. Okay, I hope that you have understood how to design the square glass in detail. Thank you for watching. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Okay, and after designing, please uh, uh, compare the result according to the according to the Local interest group party of the clubs. Uh, I have uh, uh, please watch the video attentively, uh, then you will understand. Okay, so that's all for uh, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. Assalamualaikum.